Hello friends, hello and welcome to this discussion on Big Data and Hadoop. And today we will learn parallel computing. And the agenda of this discussion is an introduction to distributed computing and parallel processing. So let's start with it. So even before trying to understand the technical jargons about parallel computing or supercomputing, let's try to actually take a quite quick look into a real world example of having uh, to complete the paint job in a room which is typically consists of a floor, four walls and ceilings. And we are interested in only getting painted the ceiling and the four walls. Suppose if you happen to hire an expert painter who can finish the paint job of each surface in approximately two hours time. He would take an average of close to 10 hours if you include the break time it's going to take like the probably 10 hours even more than that the basic question is like what do you what if you want to get the same job completed in less than three hours the first answer which would come to most of your mind would be like why not why not hire more painter absolutely if you could actually hire five painters who could actually take care of the paint job of each surface that it would take probably less than three hours to finish the paint job of the entire room. So this is actually a classic example in real life with more resources trying to accomplish the same time where the increase in the number of resources drastically reduces the time required to complete the task. However, in real world, there are a ton of problems which actually cannot be solved using this approach of trying to have multiple resources at disposal but the time required to complete the task will not come down drastically. Similarly, even in the world of computer science, there are huge categories of problem which actually can be solved really fast if there are multiple computers or multiple software and hardware components trying to attack the problem at the same time. And there are a ton of problems which cannot take advantage of par parallel processing. So those category of problem in the world of computer science, which actually can be tackled by parallel processing mainly includes the category of problems called as the divide and conquer types of to a large extent. Now let's take an example in the world of computer science where we have a large file or probably not that large. It, it will be around one GB input file, which is consist of which is consisting of the numbers, lots of numbers. Basically they are an integer which is going to be separated by space or comma or whatever it is. Now you have a PC where you have a proprietary software whose functionality is just to read the file, pass the number or basically to read the numbers and to add up all the numbers and produce the sum as the output. Say for example, this PC with that specialized software which is designed to actually read the file and try to actually crunch all the numbers and produces some of it. It takes approximately 50 seconds to produce the sum of all the numbers in that one GB input file. Now the same problem actually can be solved in parallel processing way where you can think of you having to manually split the file in two halves. Not necessary they have to be in two exact equal halves but if you are able to split the file in some way into two halves and provide those two files as the input to two different computer with the same kind of hardware specification and same in software installed in both of them. Ideally, each one of them actually produces the sum or whatever number is present and its input is split. Now the computer on the left hand side produces result as 6000 and a computer two on the right side, right hand side produces result as 4000. And there is a third computer which actually is trying to coordinate the result of two computers and try to add them up and give the final output sum as 10,000. Now note that in the previous slide we have discussed that a single computer operating on one GB file had approximately taken 50 seconds to add up the numbers. In this case there is a drastic reduction in time almost like 40 percent faster. It's taking 30 seconds to complete the same task where previously took like 50 seconds. The first question that would come to your mind is like why there is a 5 second over it. 
we used one computer in the previous slide we got the result of 50 second and we are using two computers now but why is that the computation time has not exactly reduced by a factor of half the reason being the third computer out here spends a law a little bit of time in communicating and coordinating the result of the two computers on top so this time actually is the communication overhead or the network overhead which is required for the third computer to actually produce the final result so in reality even though if you have like say 100 computers not necessarily that computation time would be reduced by a factor of 100 there will be a slight overhead but still this slight overhead is very small when you compare to the amount of time what you actually end up saving and when compared to solving the same problem using a simple computer this actually is a very high level understanding of what parallel processing is the end result is like if it's gonna to be a parallel processing it's faster processing and you actually get the result very quick if you like the video please subscribe my channel and we will provide you more video thank you thanks a lot bye